Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. I'm Andrea Jackson. And I'm Raisa Pascal. You know, for children, when it comes to earning money, lemonade stands may be a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. The next generation is stepping up and building empires to fuel their futures. Nine-year-old Lily Harper, founder and owner of Lily Lou's Aromas, is the leading example of what it takes to be a mini-preneur. Having recently launched her new collection of luxury candles, Lily is expanding her business right here in America. Here to tell us all about building a business are Lily and her mom Chloe welcome to the show yes uh, thank you so much for having us on the show this is absolutely amazing well we're thrilled to have you Lily your candles are adorable sure. how did you get started in candle making um so me and my mom do this ritual where we go upstairs and we light a candle and watch our favorite show friends um but we realized that the candles gave us headaches so we searched it up and said why did the candles give us headaches and we realized it was toxins and nasties in them so the next day we made our own little sustainable and eco-friendly wax melts wow so yeah so when we did that we told like friends and family and who bought from us and like orders came in and business took off and then it exploded, and here we are today. <laughs> yes. I'm going to direct a question towards you. You decided homeschooling was the best choice for Lily. Can you tell us why? I think that's uh, interesting. Yeah, so pre-COVID, Lily was struggling uh, with bullying um, at school, and COVID kind of aligned up. And when she came back, we realized that the, the traditional kind of sit down at a book learning uh, wasn't really working for Lily, and she kind of thrived more in the uh, like a hands-on experience that we could give to her one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, homeschooling just kind of made sense for us. And Chloe, how has the candle making helped with Lily's education so far? Yeah, so Lily's super, super creative. <laughs> so uh, we kind of tend to lean in with the things that she enjoys, candle making being one of them. Um, so she gets to learn lots of math and science through mixing and creating. Uh, she gets to design her own labels through art and then lots of entrepreneurial kind of life skills come through with uh, customer service and dealing with the day and day day in and day out kind of uh, things of entrepreneurship. So yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it, lots and lots of learning. <laughs> Excellent, Lily. You clearly have all kinds of products we see on the screen. You have a beautiful setup of candles. We've provided us some for us today. Mm -hmm. What types of products do you make now, and how do your par parents help you? So I make um, wax melts candles this is my favorite winter wonderland <laughs> and i make rain sprays um so my mom helps me with the emails um and the behind the scenes and my dad helps me with like making candles and orders as well and lily how do you come up with all the special scents that you choose espresso cream we've got candy cane lane here on the desk with us it looks like a cupcake good enough I love to the eat names. yeah <laughs> Yes, and me do. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just through inspiration of the things that we like. And yeah. then uh, Lily is like, oh, I want to make this. And she yeah. kind of just rolls with it. <laughs> yeah. And besides running a business, do you have any other hobbies, Lily? Yes. Um, so I do ice skating um, and wow. gymnastics, um, as well as like spending time with my family and my sister. I love that. You're a family girl. I'm a family girl too. So we're, we're the same. Now, Chloe, you and Lily are passionate about giving back. So important today. Can you tell us about your charity work? Yeah. So charity, I mean, I'll let Lily roll off with the first one. <laughs> yes. Um, so we do the Canadian Women's Foundation. It, it's really important to me because they do uh, like, so they help stop bullying um, campaigns. Um, so it's anti-bullying and yeah, that's really important to me because when I was at school, I was bullied really badly and I don't want other kids to feel that way. Yeah. And then we also work with One Tree Planted yeah. as well. One Tree Planted as well. So we, it's every time you buy a candle from us, you, uh, plant a tree oh. to help grow the deforestation. Yep. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Is there a tree yeah. candle in the collection? Like a pine scented <laughs> maybe, something? Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the come. Lily, Chloe, thank you so much for joining us. Lily, you're so well-spoken. You're wonderful. We loved having you. For those of you at home, you want to know more about Lily's handmade products, mm -hmm. you can go to lilyloosaromas.com. It's been an absolute yeah. pleasure. I, can't, I think we should smell some of these. What do you think? I know. Well, this she candy said this, cane this one. This one, I think, was her favorite. It was, yeah. The espresso, espresso and cane. cream. I'm going to try it. This candy cane lane is delicious Ooh. looking. Oh, we'll be right back. We're going to keep smelling in the meantime.